Yo, what's good everybody? It's me, Connor, back here with another video. And the intro to this video, the audio, for some reason, was not captured. So, I'll still play it for y'all so y'all can see it. But, just so you know, there is no audio. I don't know what happened, but the rest of the video has audio, trust me. So sit back, get your popcorn or whatever you're eating, and enjoy. So I just jacked up that side and the camera shut off. I don't know why, but I jacked that side up, so let me go jack up the other side now. What's all that movement back there? <laughs> First step is take off the wheels. I need 19 millimeter. So now the next step is we gotta start disassembling stuff. Next, remove this bolt right here. This is why I need a cameraman. Cause I just beat this off, but I forgot to press record. So, but I got the tire rod off. Now I gotta spin this and take the brake caliper off. Finally got that stupid freaking brake caliper off. Now I gotta get this off. Finally got the brake caliper off. Now onto the next part. So done for the night. It's too dark now, but I got everything taken out here. I still just gotta take these out because I'm switching those. But I got everything out. Now I just gotta drop the front diff. But I'm doing all that in the morning. I'll see you guys in the morning. It is a bright and sunny 7.30 a.m. We're getting back to this. This is what it's currently looking like right now. I showed you last night. I'm about to take the control arms out. Then I gotta drop the differential, which means I gotta get to a bolt that's up in here. There's a bolt right up in here somewhere that I have to get to. Got the control arm out pretty easily. All it was was one bolt two bolts and it's out so now I gotta get the bolt for the differential finally after like two hours got the front differential out as you can see no front differential there's the front drive shaft hanging so we didn't realize but you actually have to cut this piece right here so that's what I was just underneath there cutting right there right here so now the diff should fit right in there installed the Diff installed the rear skid plate, not skid plate, um, rear cross member. Just not everything is bolted up yet. Now I'm about to put in the front cross member. Did most of it, but it's dark now and I gotta go pick up my girlfriend. Good morning, everybody. It is day, I don't even know, but today we are starting to officially put stuff on. So today I'm moving all the stuff from the stock knuckle to the new bigger knuckle let's get to it well so much for the white springs i guess i can repaint them when they're in there i'm probably gonna paint them black or something or wrap the inside of the everything and spray them white again but i finally got this shock in now i gotta do the other side but let's put the lower control arm on after some struggling i finally got the shock in the lower control arm right there and it is in the vehicle now. That is a tall ass shock. Good morning again. I know this video is taking forever, but I can't get these fucking knuckles on. And I'm literally so close to being done, but I can't get these knuckles on and it's pissing me off, honestly. But I think I have a way to do it today. And then I just have to do the back and then the lift is done. Then I gotta go mount the tires and hopefully the 40s will fit because it's no longer gonna be a nine inch lift. It's gonna be a six inch lift because the nine inch lift didn't work out. So, when I'm done with this, I have to get them mounted and see if I have to trim. So I can't get these fucking knuckles on. 
So I'm just going to do the back while I wait for help to get probably Johnny tomorrow to help me with this side. Just finished putting in the new back block, the new U-bolts, and the new shock. This is the stock block right there. And that's the stock shock. So time to put the tire back on. So the back is fully on. As you guys can see, it is a lot higher off the ground now. A lot higher. Six inches higher, actually. So, yeah. Now I just got to either wait for Johnny to do the front tomorrow or try to do it myself again. But I'm going to go inside and get some fucking shade for a little bit first. Finally got the fucking knuckles on. And bolted everything down. Now I just have to put the rotor and the brakes on this side. And on this side, I'm working on the brakes. So we're almost finished. You guys don't understand how excited I am. Only thing that has to go on is the wheel spacer and the tire and then tighten the upper control arm. We are so close to being done. So close. Everything is back on. It doesn't look that much taller because it's the stock wheels, but it's pretty tall now, if I do say so myself. I'm gonna actually step up now. And I can't just see into the back anymore. I gotta kinda lift up, but yeah, it's on. Has it been started in a couple of days, as you can see? So as y'all saw, the lift kit is in. Just got dark so I couldn't show y'all. I have a lot more room than I used to have, but it's still on stock tires. So that's the reason why it still looks so small. I hope the 40s will fit. They should. Still got the same exhaust tip. Here's everything over here. I'm gonna have to tape everything off and respray these so they look good again. But besides that, from a distance, I like the white look of it. I really do. Now it's up a lot higher than before. Up a lot higher. Let's see. Open this. And the door's locked. Never mind, I'm not opening it. I gotta go to the passenger or driver's side. This is what the bottom looks like. I just have to wire in some lights. I have a light strip in there, so the front will glow. But I gotta wire that in a different time. Then the driver's side doesn't look as bit rough as the passenger. I still gotta respray these. But I learned my lesson, keep the springs on the struts or else you're gonna be in a load of pain. I don't know why I feel like, well, I am on a slope, but I was gonna say, I don't know why I feel like one side is taller than the other, but it just looks beefy now. I gotta turn the wheels so the wheels stick straight, but it definitely is taller now. And I'm excited and so proud of myself that I did it myself. And look, you actually gotta step up now. It's not just a little step in. You actually gotta, step in you see here boom i gotta get a new speaker for that don't worry but we are not insanely high off the ground but decently high it's a drop down and here's the other side of the back 
Then the bed. It's actually the same height as me now. It's probably a little lower because all that weight in there. But I do gotta wash the truck now. But I'm not doing that now. But there's that. Gotta retint my tail lights. First, I gotta see if the 40s will fit. But if not, this is an aftermarket bumper. And I can trim this a little bit. That doesn't bother me much. So, so don't mind the hair. I just put it back because I just woke up. But I just got informed that I got five different complaints about people complaining to the community that I was putting in my lift kit on my truck. I'll put the pictures right here if you don't believe me. Five different people don't know why they give a fuck about a 18 year old kid not doing anything wrong, not breaking the rules, minding his own business, doing shit by himself. How bad does your life have to be that that's your highlight of your day? It really makes no sense to me. So like y'all saw, the lift kit is fully on. And in the next video, I'm going to be putting on 40 inch tires on this truck. Yes, I know, 40 inch tires. Those are huge, the fucking truck's gonna be like up to here. I know it's huge, but truck is done just want to thank you guys for watching make sure to like comment subscribe down below hit that post notifications button and subscribe to follow along with the build of the truck